ladies and gentlemen, I've been working on my comedic skills. My beautiful cow Bessie doesn't think I'm very funny though. She said if I tell you guys a joke and you laugh and you leave a like, she will not turn me into a pony. But if you guys do not laugh and do not leave a like on today's video, uh, yeah, she's gonna turn me into a pony forever. So guys, come on, please laugh at this joke. I need you to. Here we go, I've been working on this one all week. What do you call a snail on a ship? A snailer. Uh, you get it? You guys, you guys left, right? Uh, 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 oh, no, no. You, you gotta be, okay. Well, that didn't go as planned. Thanks a lot, Bessie. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today I am starting off as a beautifully magical <laughs> pony. I'm pretty sure I'm Rainbow Dash. Honestly, dude, this isn't even that bad. I'm beautiful, I'm majestical, I'm mystical, and I apparently have like just one, one, two, three, four, five different rows of extra hearts. That's not bad if you ask me. But anyway, dudes, today Bessie hasn't really explained what we're doing other than that there's mythical morphs. Now, you guys absolutely love it whenever I morph into anything. So if you beautiful cookie lovers out there do want to see another episode where I morph into other creatures, leave a comment down below of what you want me to become. And once this video hits 10k likes, I'll make it. Let's have a look at Bessie's book. It says, your mission, spawn the mobs, defeat the mobs, morph into the mobs, eat cookies, profit, and give Bessie the money. Seems simple. Let's see, no mobs in there, no mobs in there. <laughs> We have so many mobs in here, boys. Now, Bessie did explain to me that each and every sword is a new round. So we're going to have nine different rounds. And by the end, we're going to become the biggest, baddest mythical creatures you have probably ever seen. So, dudes, come on. Stick till the end of the video to see the most massive creatures yet. But, dudes, in the meantime, we're starting off pretty simple. I have a dirt sword. It does two attack damage. Let's see it against. Oh, my gosh. The tough guy. He literally just chopped that pig open in three hits. Oh my gosh, look at his stomach, dude. I've seen most of the mystical creatures before, oh. but let me tell you, these guys are nothing to be messed with, especially because I am indeed a unicorn. Oh, I can fly. That is sick. Okay, let's see if maybe I can just go on his little tiny forehead. There we go. We're doing it, boys. Oh, this guy hits like a truck. Yes, yes. No, you gotta be kidding me. Stop it. Stop it, you little headpacker. This dude is an absolute trash can nub face cake hole. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Am I speaking English, dudes? Oh my gosh, he is yeeting my wolf pack. Wolf pack, do not be scared. Okay, actually, be scared. Everyone run for their life. Now, luckily, these are just cloned wolves, so we don't have to be too worried about them. My real wolf pack has been evacuated for safety. But once I can take down this dude and a flipping rhinoceros, we should be able to hopefully move up the ranks, get some brand new amazing mystical swords, and not have to worry about getting punched in the face by this giant crazy person. Yes, one of my wolves is actually putting in some good old fashioned hard work except he's died uh, he died i have a new tactic i'm gonna back myself into this little tiny corridor so i can't get yeeted literally 30 blocks back every gosh dang time this is not how i expected to start off my saturday boys stop it stop, stop it you giant, giant spleen foot <laughs> Dude, it's one of my Sunday. Oh my gosh. What just happened? Nope, nope, nope. We're not on that point yet. So, dudes, I'm not sure if you just saw what happened, but a giant mystical Wendigo came in and absolutely demolished the tough guy. But I think that means we unlocked the flipping morph. Let's go, boys. Look at my head. I'm so ugly. This is weird, dude. Normally, I have like a little blob for a stomach, but now I have a six pack of amazingness. If my face wasn't so weird looking, this would be great. We still are only stuck with the dirt sword, but that shouldn't be a problem because uh, you, uh, rhinoceros is, uh, uh, never mind, it's gonna be a problem. This guy is massive. Dude, I don't even think I can damage this giant one horned beast. Look at it, I'm hitting with the dirt sword, but the dirt sword obviously is absolute poop cake, so it's not doing any damage whatsoever. You know what, Bessie's hologram isn't here anymore, so we might as well upgrade to at least a bear claw sword. Let's see if this can do anything on this giant behemoth of a boss. Okay, looks like we do three attack damage, which means we're gonna need to hit him about 100 times. Especially because he regens like crazy. Some of the mobs today also do indeed have special abilities, and it looks like I just activated 
which means I officially have strength for the remainder of me being a tough guy. I was able to get one hit off, and it looks like it does at least 13 to, like, 20 attack damage. So we should be able to just, just stop, stop. I'm just going to slowly cut off your flipping horn. Stop hitting me, dude. Stop it. Please, please. I'm, I'm literally, I'm, I'm a tough guy, but really, I'm very soft inside. I have a big heart. I don't think the rhinoceros is buying it, boys. Now, if we could somehow get locked under here, the rhinoceros shouldn't be able to hit me too far away. Please, please, dude, I, he literally, his horde is barely touching me and it's flinging me back. Yes, dudes, I think we got to a good point where I'm literally just locked in. Yes, 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 dude, give me that horn, boy. Please, please stop. Cool, <laughs> this is crazy. We should only need, like, legitimately two more hits to take this giant, annoying beast down. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys caught that, but the tough guy also has another ability where if you run straight for long enough, he goes into, like, literally a flurry. That was sick. All right, boys, here we go. We're working our way up through the ranks, and now we are a giant flying rhinoceros beast. Honestly, these next two, I'm not super worried about. Whoa, dude. It looks like the rhinoceros still has insanely powerful strength. The lightning cloud, on the other hand, I don't know if it has any lightning abilities. We could definitely try. Let's spawn in a little buffalo. Bu buffalo. Uh, hello, little buffalo. All right, let's see. I still do crazy amounts of attack damage, but I'm not sure if I'm able to spawn in lightning as the lightning cloud. I am indeed able to fly around so I can go in from the top and literally just body slam this thing. I'm not sure if you could body slam as a cloud because technically I am made out of water. But we're not going to start questioning Minecraft physics now. So far, we've gone from a tough guy to a rhinoceros to a cloud to a giant super skinny buffalo. I wonder how many cheeseburgers I could fit inside this dude. This does mean, though, that we unlocked the beautiful apple sword. I'm a little disappointed. It does not spawn in apples. That's okay. We have Applejack right here with 1,850 health. I'm so dead, boys. She's literally flinging apples down my throat, and I think they're coming out my butthole. That was kind of weird to picture. I have no idea how she's hitting me. Look, I'm literally just chilling up in the sky. A flying buffalo. I'm not sure how I'm flying, but still, how is Applejack hitting me? All right, new tactic. I'm going to go hide under my house. I'm too fat to hide under my house. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, please. I'm just a big old buffalo. Now I'm a buffalo taking a bath. This seems to be working just a little bit more. Oh my gosh, there we go. Okay, so as a buffalo, it looks like my strength is through the roof. Plus, with this new sword, it's insanely powerful. Oh my gosh, I've never had so many apples thrown at me. I mean, normally I only have like three apples thrown at me at a time, and that's by my mom. Applejack literally just took over my bathtub. You can take my house. You can take my cookies, but you cannot take my bathtub. All right, actually, you can have my bathtub as long as I can get some cookies in exchange for apples. Can I get in the bathtub? Oh, I did it. Let's go. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, every time the buffalo gets hit, I think he gets a little bit stronger. Yes, there we go. We have Applejack locked in the corner of my bathtub of death. Oh my gosh, we're so close. No, dude. Can I please come in the bathtub? No, okay. Honestly, dude, Applejack is being kind of a big pain in my butt cheek. So I'm going to leave you in my bathtub. You can have it. I'm going to go kill whatever the heck a manticore is. This thing seems way deadlier. Oh, no way. I sat on it and it died. Here we go. The transformation is taking place. I am now the manticore. Oh my gosh. This is literally a scene from my nightmare. <laughs> what the heck is going on? <laughs> that is the weirdest face I've ever seen. What is going on? Apple poopy face. I'm very sorry. I'm going to spawn lava on your forehead. Why is that not working? Yes, there we go. Oh gosh, it's part of me. Yes, dudes. I think Applejack stuck in there. Oh my gosh, she's swimming in it. I'm done. I give up. Okay, I really give up. Let's see. Next up, we upgrade to the Rainbow Dash Sword, and we need to take down Iron Will and Chafe Thunder. Bro, 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 come on. Oh my gosh, I actually get an ability with this one. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh, Applejack just is not affected by my Rainbow Clouds of Magicalness. Let's see if Iron Will is affected, though. Oh my gosh. Yes, okay, it's a 40 damage per. That is sick. This guy is obviously going to be able to take down Applejack, even though he doesn't have a lot of health, dude. Look at those meat arms. Plus, he has giant hooves, a massive nose, and pretty cool forehead, too. I don't know why I care about the forehead. There we go, boys. Okay, morphing to Iron Will. I love being a flying tiger, but this guy is going to get stuff done. I also just realized I have a nose ring. Our next task is on Chief Thunder Hooves. Oh my gosh, he's spawning in buffaloes left and right. 
Okay, spam it. Spam left and right. There we go, boys. We are just shooting out rainbows from my face. And we did it. Let's make sure to kill all the buffaloes. Somehow a buffalo spawned inside of a tree. I feel very bad for that tree. But for whatever reason, we didn't unlock the morph, which is a little bit strange. Yeah, whatever. I'll morph back into a giant buffalo. Our next sword we unlock is probably the, the coolest looking so far. It's a crystal sword. Oh my gosh, I think Applejack actually likes me. Wait, this is my chance. If I sneak up on Applejack, right? Morph back into giant iron will with my brand new sword. I may be able to one hit. Nope, nope, no nope. big mistake that you cannot want one hit Applejack. Applejack is now my favorite person alive, even though she's a pony. Let's test it out next on Prince Rutherford. Uh, that, oh my gosh. Yes, there we go, boys. Okay, this guy is massive as well. And I think has a little bit more health than uh, whatever iron will. Oh my gosh, I do so much damage per hit. Stop hitting me with your giant hooves. Come here, Tubby. C come on. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Couple more hits. Yes, we did it, boys. It just burst into a thousand different blocks. All right, there we go. We're morphing into ginormous Prince Rutherford. I think I'm in its butt. Oh, there we go. We got the face. Uh, okay, I need to up my FOV a little bit. This is crazy, dude. I'm way too massive. Our next contender is a mob called Garble, who is a flying dragon. I kind of forgot about this dude, and I am so dead. So somehow, I was able to one-hit Garble, which is a little bit concerning. We might as well go ahead and morph into this giant fire-breathing beast. Oh my gosh, this guy is massive. But boys, we are getting down to the end. Our next sword that we unlock is called the Bowser Sword, which we're honestly going to be using against King Bowser. Let's test it out. King Bowser, oh my gosh, this guy just yated me. I don't know if I want to fight him anymore. King Bowser's sword has super long reach though, and I'm also able to literally just fling these things at King Bowser. Obviously, it doesn't do a lot of damage against him, but Garble does have some pretty insane resistance. King Bowser used a crazy attack first, but with the long reach, I'm actually able to do a little bit of damage. Come on, we're so close to taking this giant scrub out. Oh my gosh, you're summoning in lava? Uh, wait, uh, where'd he go? I'm not sure, but I think King Bowser just disappeared. Maybe he went through uh, one of those green tubes from Mario. But next up, we can fight a Rainbow Centipede. Let's see if I right click. Okay, this does a lot of damage on the Rainbow Centipede. Now we also have super long reach. So let's go ahead down and see if we can get some hits. Get him all! Oh my gosh, it worked! Oh my dude, it's spawning in little tiny centipedes. Now, if I left click and right click simultaneously, it seems like I'm able to summon in Bowser's crazy abilities and also still get the long reach. Just one more hit and dudes, we did it! This is definitely gonna be the weirdest morph yet, dude. I get creeped out by things with more than four limbs, and this thing has at least 30. But dudes, we are getting down to the end. I hope you guys are enjoying so far. Be sure to go comment hashtag cookies if you made it this far into the video. Our next challenges are going to be absolutely insane. We do have this amazingly awesome alicorn sword. It does crazy damage and also has even more reach than the Bowser sword. So I'm really not worried about this giant crocodile creature. Like, look at it. I'm standing at least 25 blocks away from this giant, ugly beast, and I was able to kill it. Eh, dude, I'm going from a bug to a giant gator. It's actually kind of sick. From gator, we go to giant crab. I don't know why Bessie would want me to become a giant, mystical, mythical crab, but I'm not going to ask any questions. She told me I would get a thousand cookies if I was able to morph into all the different mobs. So please do not tell her I wasn't able to kill Applejack. This sword is making it so easy, boys. It's insane. I can just literally stand from so far away as a flying alligator and literally just kill every mob. And now we're morphing into a giant crab that has tons of legs and it's, yeah, I don't want to look. I can't really even look, dude. This is the only good view I can get. And it looks so weird. We did, however, unlock the Twilight Sparkle bow, which looks absolutely magical. But our next mob is a Hydra. Okay, boys, here we go. We are in it. Let's try out the Twilight Sparkle bow. Oh my gosh, it summons in so much lightning. That is insane. I'm going to need this giant three-headed scoundrel to just absolutely bite the dust. He's got to be way smarter than me, dude. This Hydra has at least, what, four heads? Yeah, it has to have at least four brains. I don't know how big the brains are. But I really hope I'm doing damage. I honestly cannot get close enough to see. Let's see if maybe I can get the Alicorn Sword in there. Yes, there we go, boys. I was doing so much damage with the Twilight Sparkle Bow. So I'm just going to keep spamming it and spamming it and spamming it. 
I think this is a safe distance to stay away from this giant creature. I'm gonna attempt to literally just sit on this giant dude as a crab. Let's see if it works. Oh my gosh, it is. Okay, we only need a couple more hits. Yes, dudes, we're doing it. Literally two more hits. I'm going for the toes, boys. Oh my gosh, a couple more hits with the Twilight Sparkle Bow. And we did it. We can now morph into the four-headed Hydra. This is easily my favorite yet. If you guys do have a favorite morph, by the way, at the end of the video, be sure to comment it down below. Our next one, though, I need to morph back down into a normal old back bro jack. I'm going to go ahead and spawn in Spikezilla, which is legitimately one of the tallest, if not the tallest mob ever. Now, I think a combination of the bow and the sword should hopefully be able to take this giant behemoth out. Look how high up in the sky I am. And this dude's spike is literally still scraping the sky. Compared to me, a giant hydra beast, uh, I don't stand a chance. Hello, giant <laughs> spike creature of death. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> He's gonna kill me, isn't he? Oh my gosh, it's an onslaught right from the start, boys. I'm gonna attempt to stay a safe distance away from the giant choppers that I see on this dude's head. Whoa, boys, we did it. That honestly took so flipping long, but it was worth it because now we are the tallest mob in all of Minecraft. I'm pretty sure the POV is literally just from the chest. But if you guys look up, you can see literally, dude, I have a massive tail. I also have a massive butt too. But ladies and gentlemen, we are officially on the last two mobs, Ursa Major and the Wendigo. Let's do Ursa Major first. Okay, good, I'm still alive. But we didn't like access to the Twilight Sparkle Sword. Now this thing has a chance of just insta-killing mobs like that. Wait a second, why didn't I unlock the, the morph? Wait, hold on, let's go back to the Spikezilla. We have Hydra. I killed it, but I didn't even get the morph, dudes. Hold on, wait a second, we need to try it on the Wendigo as well. All right, here we go. Let's just keep spamming the sword. Please tell me this works, dude. This would be sick if we could be the wind to go. Yes, come on. No, 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 dude. It's going right for me. No, 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 it's going right for me. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I need to morph back to the Hydra with Spike Zilla so I don't die. I need the extra health and protection. No, it didn't work. I managed to track down the Wendigo boys, but I am so terrified to get close to this thing. We're gonna keep just firing off some of these magical, mystical, beautiful, infinite powers. I'm really scared though that I'm gonna get its attention. Right now it seems preoccupied by literally trying to destroy everything else in my world. But maybe if I get in front of it, no, 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 please don't kill me, dude. I may need to actually get in close for a hit. This is my worst idea ever, boys, wish me luck. No, you gotta be kidding me. Boys, no more messing around. We're becoming a pony. No way a giant Wendigo would kill a cute little pony. Let's see. Also, Bessie did give me access to the infinity attack damage sword because I'm pretty sure there's no other way to kill this thing. And apparently this isn't even working. No, how is that possible? We need to somehow strafe in for a hit. No, there's two. There's two. No. I think the two Wendigos are fighting each other and there's a Hydra out in the distance. Or it's possible that they merge together. <laughs> that would be terrible. Every time I get close to its heart, dude, it literally drains my health. How is that possible? There is no way. The only thing I can think of is to literally just try in creative mode. If I somehow die, dude, this thing is hacking like crazy. Yo! We did it, boys! We're gonna go ahead and go back into game mode zero. Let's go through all of our different mystical morts of the day. And look at the Wendigo. Compared to Spikezilla, you could just see its foot. Here we go. We're going into the morph dudes. Oh, massive. You can barely even make out what I am. As the Wendigo boys, it literally looks like I gained, I don't even know how many hearts that is. Comment down below. Honestly though, dudes, this was a ton of fun. So if there is anything else you guys do want me to morph into in a future video, drop a like. Once this video hit 10,000, I will definitely make another episode. Also guys, if you aren't subscribed already, what the heck are you doing? Subscribe, hit the button, and turn on all notifications. I'm gonna play around as the Wendigo just a little bit more. I hope you guys did enjoy though. My name is Beckbro Mythical Jack, and I will hopefully see you guys all back again here tomorrow for a brand new video. Peace out, dudes.